This is a story of a natural world. A construct of the imagination projected onto silicon, glass and plastic. Bliss is just another construct. You had your first experience of bliss in 2002. You upgraded the operating system of your computer from 98 to XP. You found bliss the same way as millions, perhaps billions of others. But what is bliss? And is it ever truly attainable? A photo taken in 1996 by a photographer in California, sold for a stock photo licensing company known as Corbis, owned by Bill Gates and bought by Microsoft. The price paid is unknown, but this could be one of the most expensive stock photos ever sold. The photo became the default wallpaper for Microsoft's Windows XP. XP has sold over 750 million copies, making Bliss one of the most viewed photographs in history. The photo came to signify the ideals of Bliss itself. Rolling hills and green grass have values attributed to them. It is these values that have not always been present. In the Bible, wilderness is described as a space of confusion and despair. Yet, in the late 19th century, this mentality began to change. Artists and writers ventured out into the wilderness, describing the feeling of awe that they encountered. This was in response to the rapidly spreading urban industrial revolution. The non-human environment was glorified as an antidote to the all-too-human ailments. This led to the domestication of nature. William Morris's wallpapers demonstrate this taming. Leaves, flowers, trees and forests began to appear on the walls of homes and businesses alike. Today, this divorce from the external world is continuously developing. You don't need to go outside anymore to experience nature. 4K hikes, high definition panoramas, live streamed oasis, wilderness as surface, bliss. These are fictional windows that look out over the domesticated wilderness. But make sure to keep the windows closed. Nobody wants the flies to come in. <laughs> 